Today I'm going to be opening up and showing you the Scarlet Red PLA Matte by Bamboo Lab. So if you're in the market for this, also compare it to the Glossy that they have. So this is their PLA Basic, but it has that gloss to it. Now when you grab filament, bamboo filament anyway, it shows up like this with this cardboard here. Sometimes it has like a little tab, but this one here has this uh, sort of paper closing it up. Okay, and we'll just open it up. And this is that scarlet color. And what it comes with, they always ship out like this. You can see how the color changes when it comes out of that plastic. It has a little bit of a film. You get a silica pack. I don't recommend you use them. They're usually dried out. This is how it ships. And it has these little tabs around it. Now, just to give you a quick comparison here. It's going to be hard on screen, but I will print something with this and show you. Now, one thing you'll notice with bamboo filaments is they come with this little sort of code here, and I prefer this over other filaments just because the AMS will actually recognize this and you don't have to input the colors manually. And inside, usually you get one of these little stickers here, which will say it's either matte or basic or pet G, whatever it is, and you can stick that right there on your bamboo spool. So that way you know which one it is. Now, 90% of the filament I do use with my bamboo printers here is bamboo. You can see I've got the bone white, got the yellow, gray. This one is not, this is actually an off brand and I'm finding that it's stringing a little bit. Not sure if it's just because it's a little bit cheaper, but right there I have the PLL, PLA basic, but we'll just, put in the new one into the AMS, okay? And it should grab it, so it's doing its thing now. And let's start a print. So here's that scarlet red hat being printed out right now, looks pretty good. Actually, just printed this too, this little clip here. And this one is in the standard scarlet. Oh, there you go. All right, now to give you guys a quick comparison here, we've got the traditional PLA red and the scarlet matte red right here. You can see sort of a difference between the two, and it's mainly because of the shine. This is the glossy. This one is the matte, obviously. So it's going to be a little bit more dull on this side compared to this one. Now, this gives you more of a true red, in my opinion. This one is still my preference, mainly because when you do uh, print with this, you can see those lines, especially on rounded objects and things like that. They show up a lot more because this is more of a traditional glossy um, kind of look. It's not glossy. It's just it holds the light or grabs the light a lot more than, say, this one, where when the light hits this one, it's a lot better. But you kind of get that white that sort of dulls out the red color of it. Um, Maybe I can show you here. Where do I have two reds? Right here. And you can see right here, we have PLA matte and the PLA basic right there. And they are different. It's hard on camera to show you, but you can see there the, the glare of the, the light. A little bit hard to show the exact colors on camera, but this was what I printed out uh, when I was showing you the example of the print. So this is actually on the bed. So it's picking up the texture of the bed. This is the matte scarlet. And uh, this is what you were looking at there. So you can see it's pretty clean, pretty red. And especially on larger items like this, it doesn't really have too much of a difference. That's a better example of the difference that you're seeing right there. So that's the difference of color. Also, let me just pull this off. This side is the bed side of the print on the bed. So you can see the texture as well. So you are getting a more red color with the standard, but uh, otherwise very clean. I feel like the matte finishes just look better in my opinion. They hide a lot of the lines that may come up with uh, other filaments, the PLAs, the basics. So to each their own, but that is the Scarlet Red. So if you're in the market for a new filament, this one might be for you.